today was a lot in ways that I was not expecting to happen in the first, what is it, November 3rd? In the first three days of November, not expecting that, but that will be rolled out and divulged as the week goes on. So until then, let's do the recap. And for the first time in a very long time, I got to take the boosted board out. Um, I forget how to check the power. Anyways, it was nice to go out for a ride and have it work. All went well with the drop off to the airport and the return back. So let's get back to Inktober Road. Creeptober helps us out with Full moon. For Inktober, we start with, we are on the 27th, Jumbo. Creeptober adds Jumbo Silhouette. We're almost at the end. We've almost done 31 days of Blender Halloween shenanigans. And I am running out of ways to describe what I do in Blender instead of just go silent and just zone out and then wake up and suddenly I have conclusion. <laughs> um, we are on the 29th. Navigator. I was really relying on Creeptober to do stuff, and, uh, Trick or Treat. That one actually didn't help that much. I didn't think this one was going to be so bad. I hated this one. <laughs> The 30th, Violin, and on Creeptober side of things, we've got Mummy. Happy Hollow's Eve to everyone out there where it is available. The scariest thing for me that kept the evil spirits away was how incredibly dense today's Promptober ended up being. Um, but I think it's a little appropriate just because it is the last day that I am doing this daily shenanigans. Uh, for the last day of Inktober, we have Landmark, <clears throat> Creeptober. Um, where am I on the screen? Ghostly. All right, so welcome to November. Um, that Promptober thing was really fun. Um, I didn't think, well, I didn't expect to like last through all 31 days. I honestly thought that I would either forget early on or I would miss a day because of some like external circumstance. But um, it really sort of helped me like focus what I knew in Blender and sort of help drive the idea that was in my head to some sort of final product within a matter of like three hours, I want to say. Let me see. What was the longest time that I had to work on one of those? Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of I, the, the idea that's tickling the back of my mind right now is I kind of want to try to upgrade a little bit and actually do an animation thing but if I do it's not going to be a daily thing it might be like a weekly thing so a looping gif or something so it's just like four frames that just loop over and over again and then upgrade that to 
I don't know, an entire 24 frames? This episode is going to be a story time, so if you're not up to a lot of talking and jibber-jabber, I don't blame you, um, but maybe tune back in tomorrow when I do try to have something a little more visual. ...at the doors, and it's just, you know, it's locked. And she's like, what the hell? Because it's only like one... It's like one o'clock in the afternoon right now. And she's like, why are the banks closed this early on a Saturday? That's weird. So as I go around to go up the stairs, you know, they're walking away from the doors and we kind of meet in the middle to go to the ATMs that are on the side of the building. And we both kind of go to, you know, our separate ATMs. And the one that I happen to choose... Um, you slot in the card, but it felt like there was a wall or something there. You know, you just go, Hit! and that's the recap. The videos can be seen in their full length and full context over here. Tyler in progress.